Hello guys, Josh here, welcome back. It's currently Friday filming this video, so hopefully you guys should see it sometime at the weekend. If you do, I hope you're having a good weekend. Now today we're gonna be unboxing something a little bit different. I wouldn't normally do this kind of stuff, but I finally decided to buy a drone after all these years of wanting one. I guess I've never actually bought one up until now because I didn't see the necessity for it, but I've always been interested in the cinematography side of things. And also I just think a drone is quite a cool thing to own for a techie. You always see them in like futuristic movies and games. I just think they're cool. So this thing is the DJI Mini 2. And the main reason I chose this particular drone is because of the weight. It's actually under 250 grams which is kind of the magic number when it comes to drone regulations. Now this is the fly more combo, so we're gonna have a look at what is included. We basically get a bunch of extra stuff like batteries. Let's have a look at what, what's inside this little compartment first of all. So in here, it looks like we have got some sets of propellers. So I believe we already get propellers pre-installed on the drone and we've got three extra sets here. So if you destroy them, then that's not a problem. We've got these little things, which I believe are the uh, like thumbsticks for the controller. So they give you a spare set of those as well, which is good. And then this thing looks like a little screwdriver, I think. Let's open it. Yeah, so this thing is a screwdriver, I guess, for attaching the propellers. So that's what we've got in that zip compartment. Obviously, the whole thing does come in this nice bag as well. People in general just recommend getting the fly more combo because it's totally worth it. Now, this thing right here should be the controller. So I think we'll set that to one side for just a second and take a look at the rest of the accessories. Now, I did want this video to be an unboxing slash taking out for the first time to fly. However, with the current situation in the UK, we're under like national lockdown at the moment. So I'm not sure if we're actually supposed to go out to do this kind of thing. So that will unfortunately have to wait probably till like next month. But yeah, we are gonna unbox everything today and just maybe set it up as well. I just thought you guys might like to see an unboxing. All right, so in here we've got all the documentation. So that's just our instructions and warranty info. And we've got another accessories box here. So let's see what we've got inside here. All right, so this thing looks like the charger. Let's get this thing open. Okay, so charger is right here. We've got two batteries and then I guess the third battery is in the drone itself. So nice little charger. We've also got a power brick as well to go in the wall. And I believe this is like a semi-fast charger. We've got the cables. So I think these two cables are for hooking up your like phone to the controller. So that's what they're for. They give you like different connectors. And this one should be for charging. So I believe the drone charges using USB-C and also the controller as well. All right, so this is the controller. It actually feels very nice in the hand. It's got some weight to it as well. We've got a lot of rubber on here. I guess this is for putting your phone against, so it grips it nicely. But yeah, the controller feels great. Let's uh, attach the sticks to it. So these sticks are actually in the bottom right here, so we should be able to pop these out. And like I said, if you do happen to lose these, they do give you a spare set. So the fly more combo really is worth it because you don't wanna be losing stuff and then having to like order parts because that could be expensive. Not to mention, it's pretty much essential, I think, to just have multiple batteries. So there we go, the thumbsticks are in and yeah, you're definitely gonna have some good control over this thing. One of the cool things about this controller is that we can pull this thing out like this and put our phone in it. So I've got a Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, which has got a huge screen and it's extremely bright as well. So that should be awesome for flying this thing. Now I have actually flown a drone before, so I'm familiar with how to kind of control them, but that was a little while ago. So this is gonna be super fun when we can actually take it out. That is the controller. We're gonna have a look at the drone now. So this is the actual drone itself. And as you can see, it is very small indeed. It fits in my hand like this and it's very light as well at 249 grams. We've got this little guard right here, which keeps everything in place when it's kind of been transported in your bag. So we'll take that off and have a look at the props. Now I think, how does this work? I think these fold forwards, yeah. And then the other ones fold downwards like this. And just like that, we have unfolded the drone. So we've got a bunch of stickers on, which I'll take off. We've got one over the gimbal guard right here. We've got the battery compartment here. These stickers are like super sticky. So yeah, battery compartment is here. You can see that just clicks down like that. And we've also got the USB-C for charging and the micro SD slot as well. So let's try and take off the gimbal guard now. So gimbal guard comes off just like that. We've also got some stickers right here. They have really stickered this thing up. 
couple more stickers to go. So yeah, that is the drone unfolded and with all these stickers taken off. And I'm just trying to get over how small and compact this thing is. Like, bear in mind, it folds down to an object that fits into the palm of your hand. Super easy to transport. And if you guys have seen any video footage from these things, the footage is insane. Like, I have flown the Mavic Pro before, which is a drone that costs like twice as much as this. And this drone looks just as good. Now granted, the Mavic Pro is an older drone and it also had some extra features that this doesn't have. Uh, this doesn't have active track, which is unfortunate, but I think DJI could add it if they wanted to at a later date with a firmware update. We also don't get obstacle avoidance because the only sensors are on the bottom of the drone. So you gotta be careful when flying this thing. However, it does have all of the quick shot modes. So all of the DJI intelligent shots like Droney, and boomerang this thing can still do those which for such a small drone that is so lightweight is just amazing so that is everything that you get included with the fly more combo obviously we've got the drone we've got the controller we've got three spare sets of propellers in case you mash up the included ones we've got the battery bank here which has two extra batteries the other one is inside the drone we've got the cables here for connecting our phone to the controller so we can see what we're doing and to charge it we've got the charging brick here the USB-C charging cable, extra thumbsticks in case we lose the included ones, a screwdriver for applying the propellers, and also this gimbal guard along with the clip to keep everything in place. So I think what we'll do now is go ahead and get it all set up. So at least when we can go out and fly it, we're all ready to go. So we'll probably have to update the firmware. And I do wanna check out the app to see what it's like. Let's go. So like I said, today we are just gonna download the app and set up the drone, get all the firmware updated so that when we can take it out, we are all ready to go. I have gone ahead and charged all three batteries and the controller. One fact about the charging bank is that it does not charge all three batteries at once like I thought it would. It actually charges them in sequence of whichever one has the most charge, I guess, so you can go flying as soon as possible. The batteries are fairly hard to remove as well. Like you really have to grab them and pull them. They seem to get a bit stuck sometimes. I thought I was doing it wrong when I was trying to take it out of the drone so that I could charge it. But anyway, we just pop the battery in like this. It will snap in and then we close the lid. All right, so next we're gonna download the app. So we're gonna go ahead and search for DJI Fly. And here we can see the app comes up. Let's get that installed. So while the app installs, we're just gonna take our controller right here and open up this mechanism or the cradle and we'll unplug the cable. I've actually switched out the cable. So this is the USB-C one. I believe it comes with a lightning cable by default. So we'll take our phone, slide it into the mechanism like this. Uh, it can slide out a fair way. I mean, you're not gonna fit a tablet in it or anything, but the Note 20 Ultra fits perfectly fine. And then we've got the USB-C cable right here. We'll connect that up and hopefully the app is ready to go. So before we open the app, we'll turn the controller and the drone on. So we need to double tap this and then hold it and you can hear a little beep right there. And then we need to do the same with the drone right here. So we'll press it once, press it again, and then place it down so that the gimbal can calibrate itself. Looks like it's all good to go. We've had a prompt up here on the phone to ask us if we want to open the DJI Fly app when the Mavic is connected. So we'll press OK because I think that could be quite useful. We're gonna give it the permissions it needs right here. So let's press Settle and we'll say while using the app. All right, so we just have to go through the menus here. Obviously, you are gonna to have to agree to all of this stuff to use the drone. I need to make an account, so I'll do that real quick. So it is prompting us to watch some videos. I will take a look at those later. We are gonna install the firmware update, as you can see here in the top left. It's telling us that we need to update the firmware. And I believe there is a firmware update for the battery as well. So let's do the drone first of all. I'm gonna click the more button right here. I guess it will tell us what's included in the firmware update. So we've got improved stability, we've got added zoom to photo mode, we've got optimized Wi-Fi wi and Bluetooth connectivity. It's fixed a few issues. The drone looks like it's doing something, which is kind of interesting. We are 60% done. And yeah, you do wanna keep these things updated because obviously DJI do add more features and they do fix stuff. So it's a good idea to just check every now and then. I guess it will pop up in the app. And once this is done, we'll head into the settings and update the battery firmware too. Okay, this has taken much longer than I thought. So I'm gonna put this down and go and make some coffee. All right, we've got some coffee. And I think it's done now as well. I'll put the drone over here so you guys can see it a bit better. So we have done the update now. Let's press the update on the fly safe. 
because that also needs updating too. Looks like all the updates for the drone are good, I think. Let's press the escape symbol on there. And I believe we need to press activate. So let's agree to this. Aircraft activated, there we go. It's asking us about the care program, which I'm not really bothered about, to be honest. We'll do one more final check for the firmware updates. Hopefully we should have the latest version. Yeah, it's all good. We do in fact have firmware auto download, so you can turn that on if you want to. So we'll press go fly. Obviously we're not gonna fly it inside because we're not stupid, but I just wanna see if there's any additional settings. So you can see it's given us a live feed of the camera right here. If I move the drone, you can see the camera moves as well. If we click the three dots up in the corner, hopefully that should give us some more information about the battery. Let's see if the firmware update is under this menu. I just Googled it and apparently if it doesn't pop up with a battery firmware update notification on this screen, then you should be all ready to go. If we were outside, then we'd press go fly. We checked that all the settings were as they should be and we'd see that we were connected to GPS. Obviously we're inside, so we have nothing. But yeah, that's pretty much all we can do for now, guys, until we can take this thing out to some cool places and fly it. But I'm really excited. Now, of course, I will be bringing you guys on the maiden flight of this thing. Hopefully we don't crash it. I was thinking of maybe doing like a vlog type thing. I've actually got a GoPro Hero 9 coming in next week that I ordered from GoPro's website. Got a really good deal on it because I figured that would be quite a useful piece of equipment to own in combination with a drone because if I want to make like travel videos, at any point, if we do any vlogs, maybe go to like CES. I just thought it'd be really cool to have like a tiny camera that we could vlog on because it's not practical owning a huge camera and having to carry it around. Like it just absolutely kills your art. But yeah, anyway, I will be making a video on flying this thing. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I've also got the PC build series coming. I'm going to make that probably my next video. So if you didn't already know, I'm planning on starting the series where I make budget PC builds and teach you guys exactly how to build them step by step. And also do a bunch of benchmarks as well so you can see how it performs. Because loads of people ask me about like how to build PCs. So I thought it'd be a really cool series to start up on the channel in 2021. So yeah, if you guys do want to see those videos, then make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content. If you want to show your support, you can drop a like rating. That would massively help me out. And you can follow me on social media at Tech Tesseract. That's where I upload all the stuff in between videos. So if I have like new products come in, I'll post pictures on there. And I post a lot of pictures on my setup as well. So if that sounds good to you, then you know what to do. But yeah, with that being said, hope you guys have an awesome rest of your weekend. Thank you for all the support recently. Again, you guys have been smashing it recently. And I will catch you all in the next one.